I'm Dana Han Klein here with Constance Wu, Henry Golding, and John M. Chu for Crazy Rich Asians. Logistically or emotionally, what was the most challenging scene for each of you? Logistically, the most challenging scene for me was the uh, Tyrosol Park scene, where it was like a one shot and it was incredibly hot, <laughs> and there were a lot of moving pieces and a lot of people in a building that we had the windows blacked out, and we didn't have AC, and we had many bodies. That was challenging. And it was two and a half minutes of no yeah. cuts. Yeah, no cuts, which in, in movie time is like a It's like cut. two hours. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely not. Actually, also the kitchen scene where we were meeting. Ellen. Oh, that was, that very was close. also. Because yes. there was open walks with steam baths going there on. There were actual flames <laughs> underneath cauldrons, uh, you city. know? It's got a light. Yeah. Uh, for me, it was the, a text messaging scene. We had this graphics and going everywhere, and that had to take a lot of planning. And we didn't have a day to shoot it. We shot it while we were shooting everything else. So that was that was painful. So, what do you admire most about your characters, and which character do you admire the most? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> um, awesome. Uh, so Nick at heart uh, means no kind of will ill when it comes to not. Telling, will. telling sort of Rachel that he is of this vast family fortune, but it, it also leads to his downfall. Um, so he, he, he left for, for New York, he left for sort of um, to, to, to be educated elsewhere, to, to kind of separate himself from that. So he, he really wanted to make um, himself into sort of an independent man. Um, so that's what I, I, I like about uh, actually, I like that my character is really proud of her own mother for being a single mother and raising a kid because I think that's probably the hardest job in the world. Um, and and that's what she did, and I think that's really awesome to like honor that. Yeah. Uh, I loved uh, her mother because I feel like that is reflective of my own mother, where they're overbearing, but. Uh, kind of all over the place but really love you um, when it comes down to it and are going to be mama bear for you. I'm going to fight everyone off to protect you. Speaking of mothers and parents, I actually brought my mom to lunch today and oh, we're obviously nice. at your parents restaurant. Oh, good. Yeah. That's so nice. What is the most embarrassing thing that your parents have done to you? I would say today <laughs> when my mother decided to bring all my awards from high school oh, and college adorable. onto the table <laughs> of our press uh, that was pretty embarrassing. Time. <laughs> this is therapy now. Picking, picking their nose in public. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, My, um, <laughs> she's comfortable with herself. I think, I think when parents get to a certain age, they don't care about what other people think, and they can just do whatever they want. Um, but for me, I think growing up, um, there was a point where we grew up on a beach and we were sort of swimming and stuff. and and my pants got ripped, kind of wrestling, and so I was running around half naked, not understanding why everybody was laughing at me, until my mom comes over, and she spanked my bum, and she's like, your pants are halfway down your ankles, like, and that was like the most embarrassing. How did you run life. around not <laughs> knowing I, that your pants Because I was just like this little kid, like, just running, having fun. <gasps> and she crushed her dreams. Yeah. 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 Have to find certain beaches probably no, in Europe. No, no, like, have, have in, in your dreams. next movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's hypothetically look forward. You know, however many years from now, let's say theoretically you have kids and they are now bringing their significant others to meet you. Do you go full Eleanor Young on them? Mm. Oh, I'm definitely good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. You're gonna they background gotta go check, through, like, they gotta go through the DNA. Like, yeah, the absolutely. first day that, that Willow, his daughter, brings back. Uh, like uh, a boyfriend, she's got a lot of uncles who are going to be ready and willing to like back John up on this. So. Yeah. Or a girlfriend, either yeah, way. Yeah, either way. She a partner right. brings a partner home. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. I would. I take the opposite approach because it's like a mental thing where I think par children sometimes want to defy their parents. Uh, so if you're like chill, then they're like, oh, well, I want to date strategy. the person like super that they're not. Like, That's great. Good strategy. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you're, you're, thinking you're thinking about it. <laughs> you're thinking about thinking it now. Um, right, so that's why girls like the bad boys sometimes. I know. That's, I don't see, know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> let's say you had stupid money. You know, and let's say, let's take aside, like you're donating charity already, you're working towards curing cancer, so you have some extra stupid money laying around. What do you do with it? I'd create a Shake Shack in my mansion so I could have Shake Shack every single day. Um, that's not anything they do not pay us for this it. yeah that's it's just my pretty preference. good yeah. I, yes it's yeah. very good i would probably 
take a vacation with all of my friends and fly them all like first you know I'd get them all their own jets mm. and uh, I just have this fun party on an island somewhere with my friends <laughs> my dream is to have a compound called the Chuniverse where there's a lake <laughs> and my office is on stilts and we have giraffes that eat watermelons from the windows inside my office. That is uh, so that specific. Would be the dream. Yeah. yeah. No, it's a real dream. Have you verified it? One day it's going to happen. Do giraffes <laughs> eat watermelons? Or I have no idea. Okay, but well, you're gonna but, to train what giraffes. What image? I'm gonna, so much money that you can train I'm giraffes make to sure eat watermelons. It exactly. Everything eats watermelons. That is true. Essentially. <laughs> um, all right. So this movie is you know, very exciting, very monumental in terms of representation and progress. But what can we do to make sure another 25 years don't lapse before we have an Asian or Asian American led? How, like, how do we keep the momentum going? Buy tickets. Go see the movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Support. Have a party. Talk about it. Mm -hmm. See it multiple times. Uh, and tell your own story. Make your own stuff. Even if it's not with a huge studio. Make it on YouTube. YouTube. Make, it on make it on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Like, make it on. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, I think the kids in the digital space are doing the coolest stuff right now. Since people are starting to see the movie now, uh, have you noticed some more difference between Asian and non-Asian audiences? Or is it generally like being universally received? Because obviously there are some jokes and moments that really do speak to that experience. Yeah. I, what I've been really surprised with is how global it reaches. Like everybody, um, more specific we are, the more universal we become. Everyone has a version of this. Everyone has a version of the scary, intimidating mother, uh, or a game that they play, or food that they yeah. eat, a uh, family that they treasure, this debate about your own happiness versus your family's sacrifice. Everybody has that. So it's been really fun to see them react. Awesome. And I feel like even though the creation of this movie is kind of a statement about representation, the movie itself is just about love and family um, and, you know, what we go through to date handsome guys like this. <laughs> But that's no, a, it's not love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's yeah, washboard you for the, the myth of like Asian men can't be sexy. I like, know they're, no. they're they're out there. Yeah. I know them. They're, they're in the friends. movie apparently. They're in their movie. <laughs> I definitely like panned up and down just to satisfy those fans. How do you feel to be objectified? <laughs> hey, it's about time, right? Like, oh yeah, my god! Time. That's true. Roles reverse. Like, that's true. That's, it's it's equal fair game now. So it's. We sent him a trainer. Oh. Yeah, well, that was that was uh, oh my God. that was more John's note of like you should be getting this. Show. You're gonna be representing. <laughs> no, a lot actually, John, remember at the beginning, I told you I was like, you know, in every rom com, there's the shirtless scene. Of course, of course. So we gotta. I was like, we have four. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. And then. Well, and that was before we started. Adding and adding. And like, Do you still get excited? You're like. Yeah, I was like, hold on. Have a I stopped working out because I thought that was it. Yeah. <laughs> First mistake, first mistake. Uh, <laughs> first yeah. movie, you learn. Yeah. Now you're in a ton more and you learn that lesson. <laughs> um, how do you all define like personal success now versus maybe earlier in your career? I, I find it the same way. Uh, it's, uh, I think my Angela said it is liking what you do and liking how you do it. Mm. Nothing to do with money. <laughs> anyway, okay. I, I think when I, started, when, when I started, I. Um, I think I felt lucky to be able to be in the movie business, and maybe a couple of years ago I realized, no, I earned the spot to be here. Uh, so I feel more empowered now than, than ever before, more confident. I become more of a human being every movie I do. So I think for myself, um, to be able to do what we do, love with so much passion, um, and to create something so beautiful, um, really is, is is the payday itself. It's it's. I hope that it continues, and we're such a lucky position that you know we can do this for a living and be able to support our families and, and friends. And, um, hopefully, we can do it more and more. All right. So, growing up, who's your favorite fictional hero or heroine? Not like a superhero necessarily. It can be a superhero, but just like a fictional character. You go. Okay. Um, for me, I grew up watching uh, an actor director uh, by the name of P. Ram Lee, who's, who's from Malaysia, and he had a hero. A classic sort of leading man, but they brought to the screen these black and white movies that took you away from from Malaysia. And, um, so I always wanted to, to to be like him, and that, and that was that was my hero. Mine is Mr. Rogers. <laughs> I've, I've always loved Mr. Rogers. So I, yeah. <laughs> um, I loved Michael Jackson music videos. Like I loved his, I loved how he told stories. I, that's what made me want to go into movies as well, um, and song and dance. I just thought it was like the modern musical. 
what inspires you? Just in life. Uh, I think more and more uh, people inspire me more. Where I used to look for other sources, getting to know more people all around the world and more cultures. Uh, I think it's like fascinating, and I think we're, we're, we're all in this together. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The reception that we've, we've had, it, it sh tells us that we're doing something right when they come out of the film, just not being able to control their excitement about telling us how how much it feels to them, like it, it represents for them. Um, that's that's amazing. One thing you'd have more time for, what would it be? Massages. <laughs> good. Good. It's very good. Um, gosh, I guess family time, like being away from home. Oh, that makes me sound bed. terrible. <laughs> I like your answer. Uh, yeah, yeah, your, your answer is good. But, you know, it's, it's you, you're away from family and, and it's, it's nice. I mean, we're so lucky to be here with John's family mm -hmm. um, and, you know, get adopted by them. There's a warm welcome. <laughs> no, they're all, yeah, it's that one. I, I just had a wedding, so I have everybody together of all parts of my life. That is the most, uh, I just didn't understand how that, I just thought it was just a wedding is a wedding, and uh, it was so beautiful and warm, and if I could do that every day, I would be in my dream. Although we probably get annoyed at each other after like two days, but. The spa. Spa is the best it's a spa broader, spa. it's a broader. Massage, <laughs> spa. You can spend time with your family at a spa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, thank you all so much. Congrats on the film. Thank you.